Hello, my name is Dr. George Green. I am a microbiologist and a practicing dentist. In this video, we will discuss dental operatory water lines, or the water quality commonly used to treat dental patients today. Contaminated water lines are a serious problem within the dental profession. A simple search on the Google search engine of the term contaminated dental water lines yields 129,000 hits dedicated to this problem. It is described by the ADA, the FDA, and the CDC as a serious problem requiring immediate attention. A recent OSHA periodical reported on a story about a woman who had died after contracting Legionnaire's pneumonia following a dental office treatment two weeks earlier. Fatal bacteria responsible for Legionnaire's disease were traced down to the dental office water lines at the treatment facility. The purpose of this video is to introduce a new system contained in a device which continually sterilizes the dental water lines and prevents any bacterial repopulation. The device is an add-on module which works with existing dental equipment. It can be installed by any dentist within a few minutes and involves using ozone as a sterilizing agent. It has been established that low-level bacterial contaminants in tap water will allow a biofilm to build and multiply within dental operatory water lines to the point where live bacteria infest the water used during dental procedures. These photos are of fatal bacterial infection. What all of these organisms have in common is that they have been isolated from the interior of dental operatory water lines. The bacterial colonies in dental water lines originate from low-level contaminants in our tap water. The industry has changed slowly over the last 20 years and replaced tap water with either spring water or distilled water delivered from chairside reservoirs. The white bottle shown here is a chairside reservoir holding water for use during a dental procedure. It was intended that this would reduce contaminants which cause the biofilm to build up. But the bacterial colonies are in the water lines, not in the reservoirs. The reservoir approach does not correct the nature of the water line's ever decreasing size from the reservoir to the patient where bacterial biofilm is known to multiply. Therefore, little has been accomplished in the effort to control the bacterial contamination issue by replacing the water source from tap water to chairside reservoirs. In dental procedures, the water is often aerosolized in use as an irrigant or coolant. The patient and staff can inhale the microbial contaminants in the aerosolized water, which is a more rapid and easier entry route for bacterial infection. Ozone is a tasteless, odorless gas comprised of three bound oxygen atoms. Ozone can be generated at sea level by combining electricity and oxygen from the air we all breathe. Ozone immediately kills bacteria in the presence of the gas. Ozone can be infused into water and is 100% bactericidal. No bacterial organism displays resistance. This is the green ozone generator. It infuses ozone into dental reservoirs used in many offices today and renders the water sterile that is delivered to the patient. The system has undergone multi-parametric analysis and is shown to be totally effective in stopping any live bacterial contamination. It is therefore an asepsis unit for dental water lines. Here is the green ozone generator in place with its front panel removed for demonstration purposes. In the green ozone system, a valve opens to reduce air pressure in the chairside reservoir. This is to ready the system for ozonation. Once the pressure has been reduced, the ozonator activates and some air from the compressor is redirected to bubble the ozone produced through the water. After ozonation, the valves reset to allow repressurization of the unit. The entire process takes two minutes and a simple flush for 30 seconds 
will deliver the ozonated water down the lines to clear any bacterial biofilm. The process can re be repeated as desired. Bacterial contaminants cannot be detected either through culture on petri dishes or by electrical conductivity measurements of the ozonated water. My associates and I feel this product will have a dramatic effect in the way bacteria-free water is delivered in the dental operatory to the patient. We have filed for patents in over 30 countries and so far have made arrangements to make the first production run to prepare to file for the FDA and UL certification. Patent cooperation treaties will also take effect in 150 additional countries. In the state of Florida, there are many elderly residents who are considered to be immunocompromised due to their age. Our high percentage of elderly, disabled, and medically compromised constituents within our state requires special attention be given to assure complete sterility in any healthcare setting. Millions of dollars yearly go into antibiotics and additional treatment to deal with the results of this unsanitary practice. Technology now exists, so this is no longer necessary. This new technology will lower time away from work, save lives, and save money for the state when dentistry is provided in state-run facilities. If you are a legislator responsible for the health of your constituents, or responsible for the well-being of the community, wouldn't you want to see a green ozone generator in every dental office? Please originate or support a bill to make the green ozone generator's use mandatory in every Florida office. When you or a family member needs to visit a dentist, wouldn't you want the office to be using sterile water? If you are a dentist, bacterial contamination of the water lines can occur in any new system within two weeks after installation. If you have reason to believe that your dental water lines are contaminated and would like more information about the green ozone generator, please call 1-800-982-2605. My name is Dr. George Green, and thank you for watching this video.